ones, Gucci, you too. It's Pat Brady, you dig? Marvelous blunts in the building, you dig what I'm saying? Live and direct. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe ASAP Rocky to Marvelous Blunts, man. Go comment on some content. Go check out Tone's new DLC video. We got it popping. And tomorrow, which you might see this today, Blunt Talk, Blunt Talk, Blunt, Blunt Talk Thursday, Sentiment Candle Company. Come check that out. So like, comment, and subscribe to the page. You did. Now, I think this came out yesterday, but you know, I had to g get some time to ponder on this information, to, you know, dissect this information. When it comes to the DCEU, you did like, <laughs> I think we've been waiting for DC to fight back for a long time. I don't know about you, like, DC has some okay movies, but mostly, Anything dealing with DC, DC comics of lately has been trash. Everybody can admit it, dog. Um, everybody big hated on the Snyderverse. I really like the Snyderverse. I, I like the direction it was going, but everybody hated it. Now, we go into this year. James Gunn, Marvel's golden boy. He left Marvel, dog. He ended up saying, man, I'm, I'm gone. I'm going to the other side, dog. He is now... One of the uh, co-runners and founder, well, co-runners, you know, he's running DCEU, the DCEU with some other guy. I think his name is Paul or something like that. Excuse me if I don't know his name, but James Gunn, he's in the DCEU now. Now he going to basically be a baby Kevin Feige, but him. So, you know, he took to Twitter. They took to YouTube and they actually end up dropping a video going over what they going to drop for DC coming forward. And I can't lie. I was excited, but at the same time, before I get into what I liked and didn't like it about what that he mentioned and talked about, I gotta realize James Gunn has made Peacemaker, which was great, he did. And then he made the Suicide Squad, and that shit was trash. You like kill. I was so good how bad the Suicide Squad was compared to the original. That's just me. Some people, everybody loved. They killed me on YouTube for not liking this Suicide Squad, the recent one. I thought it was trash. But I still have faith in James Gunn. But some of the things he do is a little questionable. But we're going to talk about it now. Is the DCEU going to be trash going forward? Let's get into it, all right? So I'm going to go over, first of all, I'm going to go back and forth some things I like and I didn't like about what I saw about what James Gunn was talking about, right? So... The DC, ah, dang, man, my, I need a massage, man. The DC elsewhere, I was rocking with that idea. I'm like, all right, they not going to have everything connected. You feel what I'm saying? Like Batman and Joker going to be in its own universe. I rock with that. I don't care about uh, Batman, though, to be a thou wow. I don't care about Batman. That movie was trash. The Batman was trash. That movie was a waste of three hours. So... I don't really care about that. But the Joker, I'm glad they're not bringing it to the DCEU. Everything don't got to be connected. I'm glad he's doing that. But then he's still going to have DCEU things connected. He's separating it. That's cool. He's making that clear. You dig what I'm saying? So it's no confusion. My thing I really dislike, one of the top things I dislike, was him when he was talking about the Flash. Like, bruh. The fact that he said this movie is going to be amazing, I guess they're trying to amp it because they know what they're working with with the Flash, but I'm going to just go ahead and say it. I don't care. I wish this man to get better. I hope he ends up being better. It'd be nice, but man, fuck Ezra Miller. You feel what I'm saying? Ezra Miller basically hurt people and still kept his job. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, I saw somebody try to compare it to RDJ, Robert Downey Jr. and be like, oh, he just like RDJ, they just give him a chance. No, bro, he actually hurt people and did wilder things. RD, RDJ, Robert Downey Jr. did things to himself. He didn't do anything to anybody else to put anybody in a harm's way. So I am not rocking with them keeping the flash. I realize that they just like, hey, we gonna get over it. 
But that's real. Just the things he did, the fact that James Gunn, they gonna push this movie, I wasn't really rocking with that. I think they should cancel The Flash. I don't care what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go see it. I'm not supporting that. You know what I'm saying? People can change to be better versions of themselves, but that don't mean I gotta support they bullshit. You feel me? So, fuck Ezra Miller. We not going to see The Flash. I don't care what James Gunn talking about. Talking about that's the best joint. I ain't rocking with that. So, we're going to go to another dislike. Blue Beetle. I don't know what that is, bro. Like, and I know we got to get hip to this stuff like that. But, man, like, give us some more detail, you know what I'm saying, about the Blue Beetle. You know what I'm saying? Not saying I don't have faith in it, but I don't care about it, bro. I don't care about nothing called the Blue Beetle. It used to be these little Beetle-type Power Ranger things back in the day. I forgot what they, they called. But if you know, leave it in the comments below. These little beetle looking people. That's what I imagine this beetle boy looking like. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. Um, I'm rocking with the 18 year plan of gods and monsters. I'm rocking with that. I like gods and monsters. So, you know, I'm rocking with that way where they going, they obviously going to go to Superman route. We're going to have meta humans. We're actually going to have that type of stuff. And then them fighting some type of monster type of people in the uh dc dceu you know what i'm saying because i think dc comics got some slick little storyline they can go line, go down and, and and story they can expand and um grow on but you just got to pick the right people to do the story though and also what he said too he, they're gonna have the right directors and the writers james gunn you better have that because i don't know who's writing for the dceu I don't know who is writing for the DCU. I don't I don't know, dog. It must be a child. You know what I'm saying? That hasn't fully developed yet. Like there's three or four because some of the storylines and, and the characters and uh oh my god. The only thing I really liked out of DCU, I promise you, was the Snyderverse cut of Justice League. I liked Shazam and what the Joker. That's not even part of the DCU. Bro, that's sad, bro. I really don't like a lot of DC products. And if I do, I don't remember. You feel me? Like, uh, come on, though. I like the Suicide Squad, the first one. And I did like Wonder Woman. After that, <laughs> all of it went downhill, dog. W Wonder Woman 84, the Batman, all that. <laughs> Batman vs. Superman, <laughs> lighters. All I, I wish I could look, put a lighter down so I can burn my thumb. Because I'm telling you, no. DCU trash, man. So... The eight or ten year plan with them to like actually have some type of genre, something they're set on already. All right, James Gunn thinking. And the fact he come with a plan, salute to him. Um, that was lit. Superman, we got Superman. I'm rocking with that. You dig what I'm saying? They finally making a new Superman. I don't know if he's gonna be black or white. You dig what I'm saying? But I got two characters that I think will be. I mean, a great actor that I think will play a good Superman. If y'all don't know Magwiles, go look him up. Uh, Tristan Magwiles, he's a great actor. You know what I'm saying? I think he would play a good Superman low-key, a sneaky Superman. You know what I'm saying? He look like Clark Clinton, too. Also, he could also play... The other thing I'm rocking with is the Lantern show where they bring in shows about Green Lantern. So, yeah, push Magwiles to definitely be one of the Green Lanterns of Superman. We're going to talk about that. But I'm definitely excited about those two shows. Because I rock with Superman. Like, they need to tell a great Superman story. Please, everybody was connected to Henry Cavill. I don't care, bro. Let that man go. Let that man be. We need to start a new Superman story, fresh, new, because all the Superman stuff sucks. Green Lantern, y'all know, super sucked. You know what I'm saying? So they need this new spark to it. I'm pushing Mike Wiles for that and Superman. So, boom. Aquaman 2. Tell me, Aquaman, bro, fuck Aquaman 2, bro. We don't care, bro. They about to change up Jason Momoa character anyway. Man, Amber her in that movie, super fuck her too. So, we because we really don't want to see that. So, boo, Aquaman 2. I don't even have to speak on that. The first one made me go to sleep. The second one, we don't care about. You feel me? We could have went without, but they got to close it out. So, I could care less about Aquaman 2. You dig what I'm saying? It, it's, it's pointless. Boom. One thing I did, like, I like Wonder Woman. I like the, what they going to do with Wonder Woman in the Paradise Island. I actually like the scenes when they were over in Paradise Island and, and the uh, Warriors were fighting. You feel what I'm saying? I was rocking with that more than anything. So I, I'm glad they bringing that back. They need to. You know what I'm saying? They need that more stories, man. So 
I'm interested to see what they're going to do with uh, Diana's home. Um, but those Warriors, I mean, they had some great scenes in the Snyder Cut. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kind of anxious to see what they're going to do with Paradise Island and, you know, those Warriors or whatnot. Uh, what we see, I can just go down to other stuff I just didn't even know about. Creature Commander, it's like, uh, it's supposed to be like an animated series that still can be like relevant in the in real live action. What if rip off? Okay, stop ripping off what if, dog. Next, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what we got? The Authority, don't care. Um, Booster Gold, don't care. Supergirl, don't care, bruh. I don't care. I don't want to see a Supergirl before y'all do a good Superman anyway. You dig what I'm saying? Make a good Superman. Then worry about Supergirl. You dig what I'm saying? Not really feeling that. But all those other names I named, I don't really care about. I dislike them because I don't care about it. I don't know anything about it. So, you know, it's still open for them to sh prove me wrong. James Gunn to show me, man, who this character is. And I love him like I do Peacemaker. But right now... I don't know y'all, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that simple. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> ah. That'd take a little bread day, cause like, come on, man, like I could care less. This is a cigarette by the way. Don't smoke cigarettes. Um, or tobacco kid. I just don't want to go into another year with DC and they can't fight back against Marvel. Like I'm getting bored with Marvel. Last year, Marvel had me in my had me in my peak of just like, bro, I'm done with this, bro. I'm actually physically and mentally done with this. You feel what I'm saying? So DC, here's our chance. You know what I'm saying to to show us that one, you know. Come on now, superhero stuff ain't dead. Marvel can't be the only one making stuff. It's not gonna make it equal. It's not gonna make it fair. It's not gonna make us interested. Like, I wanna be able to go see Shazam and it's good. Like, oh, some DC stuff. Then go see Guardians and Happy. Like, oh, what's, what's, which uh, movie verse is better? It's not even a fight or comparison, bro. But we gonna keep it, we gonna end it good. Now, the Brave and the Bold. I definitely gave fire emojis, man. Everything I knew about DC was basically gone through Batman. I used to see so many... I used to love the live... Even though people trashed the live action Batman movies, I thought that was fire. Facts. I thought that was fire. No bull. I thought all the Batman live action was fire as a kid. So for them to make a Batman and Robin... Uh, I guess it's going to be Robin as his son... I'm excited. You feel what I'm saying? Like, let's go. You feel what I'm saying? A Batman and Robin movie? Finally, bruh. Finally. James Gunn, give us what we want, man. I am so excited. I don't want to see Batman. I don't want to see it. I want to see this DCEU version of Batman. I don't care about Robert Patton's Batman in year one and all that crap. That's cool stuff. I do not care about that. I want to see Batman and Robin. I am excited for that. I love Batman and Robin's story. Um... And then the Swamp Thing, he said the Swamp Thing going to have a little dark, you know what I'm saying, story or whatnot. And I'm really excited for that. I like the Swamp Thing. I like his little character, you know. And it's a lot of things James Gunn probably left out. He didn't talk about Peacemaker. He didn't talk. Oh, yeah. And, and the Waller show. I forgot to talk about the Amanda Waller. We just supporting everybody black. So I want to see her do her thing. You dig what I'm saying? They're going to bring some people from Peacemaker in the, uh, the Waller show. But... Yeah, man, it's a lot of stuff they didn't name. They didn't talk about Harley Quinn. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, you know, maybe he just scrapping the Suicide Squad or just not really talking about it. You dig what I'm saying? But I, one thing, I trust James Gunn imagination and storytelling, but I don't trust some of his judgment and his calls. You feel what I'm saying? Like, people he picked as actors. Uh, um, some of the stories he's te he's telling or how he tells it. I believe in his storytelling, but sometimes how he tell it be like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I felt about the Suicide Squad. So he's one and one for me with a win and loss in DCEU. You dig what I'm saying? But that's my overall thoughts. I, I mean, I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to give James Gunn a liar's up, even though he rocking with Ezra Miller. That's wild. I'm going to give him a liar's up because I think the DCEU 
It could be something if they really, really do something with it. You feel what I'm saying? They have to really do something with it, though. What do y'all think, man? Do y'all think the DCEU is going to be trash? You think it's going to be fire, man? Let me know in the comments below. ASAP Rocky, man. And also, ASAP Rockington, like, comment, subscribe to Marvelous Blunts, man. Blunt Talk Tomorrow, featuring Shep, Scent Candle Company. Let's get it. You dig what I'm saying? Pat Brady, I'm out. Where's my